is new construction. This right? is brand new construction. Yeah. So interestingly enough, I've been seeing this a lot. Hazard issues on my commitments, uh, like a banister, right? It used to be just with the FHA loans, you'd see all these crazy conditions, and you'd say, okay, well, listen, this is an FHA loan. This is what the the, the underwriting requires from, from from the government. But we're seeing this on traditional conforming and and non-conforming loans, uh, which um, have you? What, what do you? What do you? Attribute that to it's just the banks are looking for you know they're they're seeing they make sure that there's they're, no there's no risk they're really worried about liability, liability. Yeah, health exactly. health hazard you know and risk that's really you know, yeah. that's really it used to be going. holes in the ceiling yeah, now it's like, like okay. we have to have a banister <laughs> typically even on a Fannie Mae which used to be just FHA if yeah. there was no railing you know neither railing now on even Fannie Mae stuff um, steps that are you know three or more and it doesn't have a railing this just this just happened to my clients they're buying a, a home that they're going to go renovate and. They, they went in the contract and you know the appraiser came and the day the appraiser came, the, the contractor got a head start on demo and he took down the railing and the inspector walks in and he's like, I literally just took down the railing. He's yeah. like, oh, you failed. I have, a, I have a great story, which you know, it's, it touches on you know, how, how involved we get. It was uh, 2019, it was an, an agent's um, son, last minute, they realized the underwriter realized that there was no railing on part of the outside back deck. Mm -hmm. So I called my manager up, said, "Grab your tools. <laughs> you want to pick up two by fours? Stuck them in my hatchback of my BMW. That looked like <laughs> it was like perfect pickup truck. And we built it. We built it. They sent. Uh, we took pictures. We sent the appraiser. The appraiser accepted it, and we got approved." Yeah. So it's just you know, just little things like that we're seeing, and we just said, listen, we can't wait on somebody else to do it. Yeah. We're going to do it. And I and I had a very similar issue on a uh, on a file very recently. So uh, it turns out the buyer was a contractor and said I can put in the railing, right? right? And they sent over a proposal for like two thousand dollars. And I said, well, this is a beautiful railing, <laughs> but again, to comply, oh, railing great, by the way. No, I'm sure it, it is. But you, like you have Home Depot grade. You have Home Depot grade <laughs> railings, which are enough. To satisfy your yeah. conditions, yeah. and then you have a railing like this one behind me, which probably costs ten thousand dollars or whatever. <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever, 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 it takes yeah. to get that. So it's all, and that's why it's it's you know I, I always say the practice of law can never be by rope. You have a lot of um, attorneys that when 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 they're doing these residential type transactions, they'll use the same types of forms for the $750,000, $800,000 house that they will for a four or $5 million house. Yeah. And it can't really be that way yeah. because when you start getting into the granular details when there are issues like this, mm -hmm. again, the stakes are higher and there has, there has to have been more foresight and thought. It really screws up the timeline. That too. And it's important to really give you know, the proper time and attention to this yeah. on, on the legal side, on the contractual side.